Hi, I am Wei Chiang, and uh, I decided to use this recording as a way to show you or to share with everybody how we actually solve word problems uh, using the model method. So here I have a question, which was your a question that was posted up, and uh, I'm going to show you how to use the model method to solve this. Okay, so let's start by reading the question. Okay, it says a printing company had to print 2,930 copies of similar newsletters. Machine A and machine B were used to print the newsletters. So at this point in time, we will always tell our students that there are two machines being used. One is A, the other one is B. And they have to complete printing 2,930 copies of similar similar newsletters. So at this point in time, we will always check for understanding with our students first. Moving on, machine B printed 75 newsletters fewer than machine B every hour. Now, whenever we see this, okay, we will know that we need to draw a comparison model of sorts to compare between machine A and machine B. So here. I will draw a simple model to show you for, for uh, pardon my handwriting, every hour, okay, machine A and machine B, right, machine A actually prints more, okay, 75 more. So here we have uh, machine A and machine B, and here I have uh, 75, okay. This is for every hour. We At this point in time, we don't know the total number of uh, newsletters that A and B can print all together. All we know is that A prints 75 more than machine B for every hour. The next line, however, tells us a lot more. After four hours, machine A and machine B printed, sorry, pardon for the typo, printed 1,220 newsletters all together. So, if we were to draw that, okay, using a model method, I like to stack the models up. Because for this one here, we know that this is for every hour, I will have one unit, one unit, and one unit of A will add 75. This is for every hour, A will print this amount, and for every hour, B will print this number. Whatever number it is, we don't know yet. But so, which also means that four hours, okay, four hours uh, later, how are we going to draw the model for this one? Okay, it should, there are many people, uh, there are many ways which we can draw. Uh, there is no right and no wrong. It's just a matter of which works for the students. So for a, I tend, I tend to do it this way. For A, I will draw like this. Uh, four of them. Okay. And here I have uh, one. Sorry for the drawing. I'm drawing three and three and four. Okay. And each hour, there actually, actually is 75 here. So you can see 75, 75, 75, and 75. Okay. So this is for A, 4 hours. Each one of these is 1 hour. 1 hour here, 2, 3, and 4, 4 hours. And for B, I'll do the same thing. It's just that for B, I don't have that 75 there. So for B, basically it looks like this. B also does the work at the same time. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 4 hours later, A would have printed this amount, B would have printed this amount. And they say that they printed the questions. Uh, the, the question stated that machine A and machine B printed one two two zero newspaper letters all together. So here, okay, we know that there are one thousand two hundred and twenty copies done. Okay, so from here, okay, a lot of students by now uh, at P five and P six by now they should be able to see that we need to take away this whole lot of seventy fives. Okay, so if I were to do my working here, okay, I'll continue from here because of the lack of space. Um, 75, I'll need to multiply um, 4 to get the 300. 
okay and uh, students will also know that we need to take away this extra part here so it's 1, 2, 2, 0, you take away 300, what you will get here is uh, 920. So when we take away this 750 multiply 4, 4, that is 300 here, what is left is this. So now we have 8 units, nice, 8 equal units. So we go on to the unitary method, which is 8 units would represent 920. One unit would be 920 divided by 8 which gives us uh, 115. This means that for every unit here, this is 115 and so is this 115. This 115 would mean that they would refer, also refer to here, where for every hour, B will print 115 copies and for A, it is 115 plus 75. So, when machine B broke down, and machine A was left to print the rest of the newsletters alone, so we need to find out how many copies can machine A print in one hour. It would therefore be 115 plus 75, and that would give me uh, 190. Okay, at this point in time, we always remind ourselves, why are we looking for this? This actually came from here. This actually came from here where this, okay, is uh, 190, where 190 is for A. A prints 190 copies in one hour. So, um, how many copies are there left to print? Well, we take 2,930, you take away the amount that was already printed, 1,220, you'll be left with uh, 1,710. So since A is now a loan poor thing, we take 1710, you divide it by 190, we will see um, 9 hours. So we will now know that machine A needs actually, this is the answer, 9 hours okay, to print the rest of the newsletters. So in a way, this is how we solve questions. Um, and this is how we teach our students to solve questions at Junior Wonders Tuition Centre. Uh, for more information, uh, do send us an email, visit our website. If you like what you see, uh, subscribe to our videos. We will be starting to put up videos daily to share on how we actually teach math at the centre. This is Wei Chiang signing off. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope I helped you understand the question better today. Thank you. Let me stop. Bye.